One of the things that President Obama said to me when I received the National Medal of Technology was, so, you've saved millions of lives, have you? I hadn't thought about it in that context, but actually I told him, yes, I, I actually think I have. My name is Esther Takeuchi. I invented batteries for implantable medical devices. So this laboratory is called the Advanced Power Sources Laboratory. Uh, the, this room that we're starting with here is primarily used for materials synthesis and materials preparation. This room in our laboratory is where we have our inert atmosphere glove boxes. We actually keep the glove boxes under an argon I went atmosphere. to work for a company called Great Batch. My first project when I joined the company was to work on the battery for the implantable cardiac defibrillator. The implantable cardiac defibrillator is used to treat a certain type of heart attack. There's approximately 300,000 implants per year, and it truly is a life-saving device. My upbringing definitely impacted my interest in science. My father was an electrical engineer. And I remember from a very young age, I would follow him around. He never implied that those were things that girls didn't do. I had the opportunity to come to the University at Buffalo and become a professor to train students and impact students and prepare them for what I think is going to be the future economy, not only of the United States, but of the world in terms of new sources of energy, uh, solving some of the energy problems. And in terms of the United States, unfortunately, we're sadly lagging uh, much of the world. So I think it's really critical that we attract students and bring students into the field. In scientific fields, professors that are female are still a large, large minority. Um, out of curiosity, how many of your eight students are female? None. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. It is. Why? Why do you think that is? There, well, certainly there are not very many anyway, and uh, I don't know. Why? I don't know. Like I would say that traditionally the culture of science is more exclusive rather than inclusive. That often what's seen as creativity is really a matter of perspective. And if we had a science population where people from multiple perspectives were included, I actually believe we could solve problems better because we wouldn't all be looking at them the same way. We would be looking at them in different ways. Uh, inclusion isn't just mandated because it's politically correct. I think it's imperative for us to actually make progress to have a more inclusive approach.